age or break down and people upgrade to new systems, it's commonplace to let the old systems collect dust for years and then throw them out. Not only is this incredibly wasteful, but it's built on the false notion that these computers are no longer usable, when in fact, you can make something special out of these old computers with just pocket change. This is the Dell Dimension 8200, a relatively high-end computer from 2002. These computers were insanely popular in the early 2000s, and as a result, they're one of the most commonly thrown out systems. In this video, I'll be fixing and upgrading this Dell with a budget of just $4.15. And considering I got this computer for free, it is the cheapest system I've ever owned. As usual with these types of videos, I wanted to first get a baseline of how the computer performs before I did my upgrades, so I went to test. Yeah, this Dell is in rough condition. It's missing the graphics card and hard drive, and that beep code would indicate that the RAM configuration isn't working either. To begin our upgrades, we first need to crack open the system. To open these old Dells, you have to press the top and bottom buttons and hope something happens. Now that the casing is open, we can ready our $4 worth of parts. To replace the missing hard drive, I opted for a $2 200GB IDE hard drive, which is as slow as you would expect and makes the occasional scraping and clicking sounds. What a good deal. To my surprise, installing the hard drive in these older Dells is actually quite easy. You just need to screw it to the mounting bracket and click it into place. Now that that's taken care of, I moved on to the graphics card. For graphics, I went with the cheapest card I could possibly find, which happened to be an AGP NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200. Let's just say it was $1.25 for a reason. Despite the website saying this graphics card can provide cinematic graphics power, whatever that means, it's really just a simple, low-budget graphics card from 2003. Again, the installation for this was quite simple. You don't even need a screwdriver. You just need to squeeze a tab and then flip up a lever, and you're done. After that, I decided to put an extra two sticks of RAM into the system. I didn't expect it to work, as I thought the RAM that was already installed was dead, but surprisingly, it boots up in that configuration, making a total of two gigabytes of RAM. And now that the system is at least working, we can benchmark some games. I opted for some older titles, considering this FX5200 just isn't gonna perform too well. So here's the best this computer can do. For retro gaming, the system isn't half bad. It's only when you attempt to do newer stuff where the FX5200 really struggles. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Do you have any experience with these budget Dells or budget computers in general? Leave a comment down below, I read every single one of them. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.